Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles. This is the Foundation for Inner Peace, third edition. Today we are starting section six, The Bridge to the Real World. This is chapter 16, The Forgiveness of Illusions. And this is The Bridge to the Real World. Today we will read paragraphs one through six. The search for the special relationship is the sign that you equate yourself with the ego and not with God. For the special relationship has value only to the ego. To the ego, unless a relationship has special value, it has no meaning, for it perceives all love as special. Yet this cannot be natural, for it is unlike for the relationship of God and his Son. And all relationships that are unlike this one must be unnatural. For God created love as he would have it be and gave it as it is. Love has no meaning except as its creator defined it by his will. It is impossible to define it otherwise and understand it. Love is freedom. To look for it by placing yourself in bondage is to separate yourself from it. For the love of God, no longer seek for union and separation, nor for freedom in bondage. As you release, so will you be released. Forget this not, or love will be unable to find you and comfort you. There is a way in which the Holy Spirit asks your help if you would have his. The holy instant is his most helpful aid in protecting you from the attraction of guilt, the real lure in the special relationship. You do not realize that this is its real purpose, for the ego has taught you that freedom lies in it. Yet, the closer you look at the special relationship, the more apparent it becomes that it must foster guilt and therefore must imprison. The special relationship is totally meaningless without a body. If you value it, you must also value the body, and what you value, you will keep. The special relationship is a device for limiting yourself to a body and for limiting your perception of others to theirs. The great rays would establish the total lack of value of the special relationship if they were seen. For in seeing them, the body would disappear because its value would be lost. And so your whole investment in seeing it would be withdrawn from it. You see the world you value. On this side of the bridge, you see the world of separate bodies seeking to join each other in separate unions and to become one by losing when two individuals seek to become one, they are trying to decrease their magnitude. Each would deny his power for the separate union excludes the universe. Far more is left outside than would be taken in, for God is left without and nothing taken in. If one such union were made in perfect faith, the union would enter into it. Yet, the special relationship the ego seeks does not include even one whole individual. The ego wants but part of him and sees only this part and nothing else. Across the bridge, it is so different. For a time, the body is still seen, but not exclusively as it is seen here. The little spark that holds the great rays within it is also visible, and this spark cannot be limited long to littleness. Once you have crossed the bridge, the value of the body is so diminished in your sight that you will see no need at all to magnify it. For you will realize that the only value the body has is to enable you to bring your brothers to the bridge with you and to be released together there. I'm going to go ahead and stop there today. We will pick up tomorrow. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you then. Thank you.